everybody. My name is Rebecca Grace from Rebecca Grace Designs, and I'm also the creator of the Encyclopedia of Code, which helps non-coders or beginner coders use code in Squarespace. Today we are going to be talking about how to reorder blocks in for the mobile view in Squarespace 7.1. So you may have a layout on a site that looks something like this, where you have content on one side and an image on the other, and then this kind of rotates back and forth as you go down a page. The problem is that when we switch over to the mobile view, you may find that rather than going image, content, image, content, you end up with content and then image. So you might have something like image, content, content, image. Um, which, depending on what your images are, can be confusing for your viewers as you scroll through. Now, the code to switch this so that the image is on the top is very specific to how you've set up your page. So when Squarespace creates the mobile view, it reads things going down the page and from left to right. So it's going to stack, let's say, text, image, image, text, text, image. It's going to go down page like that. However, there is a couple ways we can get around that. The first, if you only want text and a button, like this setup here, and you don't need lines or social links or second buttons or any other content, you just want text and a button, then Squarespace can do this for you if you use an image card. Okay, so if you have the text within the actual image block, Squarespace will automatically do that for you, which is why when I flip over to the mobile view, you see this image automatically goes on top, even though it's placed to the right. And that's because I've set this up using an image card. So to do that, you're going to add an image block. And then in the pencil icon, you're going to select design and choose an image card or collage I've chosen to put the image on the right. You can add different shapes and animations and things like that. I've added the text inside of the image card and I've added the link on a button. So I'm adding my text in my button. I have my image on the right and then Squarespace will automatically put the image on top for me. However, if I want um, these lines or social links or maybe I want two buttons, I can't do that inside of an image card. So instead, I've done this using an inline image and then I've added my blocks on the other side. Now, in order for the code I'm about to give you to work, you need to have this in two columns. So we have an image and then all of this below in a second column, right? So you have them in two different columns, all within one row. So I don't have any other blocks within this section. So this is in a different section. So you can't have them both in the same section or this code won't work, right? So I've put the image and then blocks in two columns in their own section. So as long as you set it up like that, this code should work for you. So I'm gonna click done. And then you're going to go to design, custom CSS, and you're gonna copy the code that I've posted below this video in my blog and paste it into the custom CSS block and click save. Now there's a couple things we need to customize in here for this code to work. This line here says that we only want this code to work on screens that are smaller than 640 pixels. This is the pixels I've chosen for the mobile code. You can change that to whatever number you like, but whatever number you choose there, this code will only work on screens that are less than that number. Okay, so it's not going to affect the tablet, laptop, or desktop version of your site. Now I need to select the collection ID of this page because I want to target this section. A lot of coders will use the section ID for this, but I like to use um, this method because if I delete this section and add a different section in this spot, it will still apply to this section without me having to change the ID. So it, it helps me not have to change the ID or go back in for my clients if things have, um, if they've altered the site, it will still apply to this section, right? So I'm going to use this Squarespace collection block identifier in order to find this code. So I'm gonna click on that. And that Chrome extension brings up all the block IDs and the collection ID of this page. So I'm gonna take the collection ID and paste it in here. 
and then I need to tell it what section I want to apply to on that page. So if I count down, I have one, two, three, four, five. This is the fifth section, and that is the section where the image went below, and I want that to go to the top. Okay? And again, by using this method, it is always going to use this code and target it to the fifth section on this page. So if I used a data ID um, and I change that section or delete that section out, then this code no longer works, where this code will automatically always apply to the fifth section on this page. Okay? This targets this particular row, which is why we had it in a row, and I'm having it reverse the order. Okay, so I can click Save. You should see nothing happened to your desktop version because, again, of this first line. But if I flip over to the mobile view, I should see that all my images go image, content, image, content, image, content. So it has gone and put that image on the top. So that is how you change the order of your blocks on the mobile version of your Squarespace 7.1 site. If you like this tutorial, make sure you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel or sign up for the freebie in the footer of my website so you can be notified when another tutorial is posted.